Hey guys, welcome to this video. Yesin is here and I'm going to get right to the point since you guys are frustrated. But before that, we're going to make sure that you have the same problem um, as the problem that I'm going to solve in this video. If your problem is having a black screen due to enabling secure boot or loading platform keys, um, that's the right video for you. Okay. Um, a lot of people actually did that and ended up with a black screen and a lot of people just didn't know what to do, wanted to purchase motherboards, RAMs, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to purchase anything. It's not a hardware problem. It, nothing is really um, nothing is really damaged. Um, you just have to um, do these solutions, okay? And probably a lot of people had this problem because of games, like for example Valorant, that requires TPM2 and secure boot, okay? So here is the solution. First thing you are going to do is to plug off everything that supplies your PC with power. Plug off the uh, here and plug off the HDMI and to make sure plug off everything. We don't want anything that has electricity to tangle with us when we are operating on the motherboard. We're not going to do something that is complicated. It's a simple thing and hopefully it's going to be um, uh, solved. Okay, so when you do that, obviously you're going to unscrew here and in order to access your motherboard. Okay, so when you do that, your motherboard is probably going to be like this. Maybe not as flashy as this, but you know what, I'm, what I mean. So, you are going to search for something, and I'll show you what that is. You are going to search for a circular ship like this, this one. Just search for it with your eyes. Okay, maybe you can find it just next to the processor, maybe you can find it somewhere else, but for the majority of the new motherboards, it's located right here, just below the graphic card. As you can see in the other uh, 3D model, you cannot see it. it, it's not located anywhere, right? If you search for it, and you cannot find it, it's probably below the graphic card and you cannot see it because the graphic card is hiding it. So what you're going to do is to come here and unscrew the uh, graphic card and plug it off, right? Remember to plug it off in here and then take it off. It's not gonna be taken off till you click on here, right? There is this for it, right? For the place that is uh, plugged in in. You just click here and it's going to pop up. You take it off. You're going to find the ship. Okay. You're going to find this one. So what you're going to do is you need to take it off. Okay. How do you take off? Take it off. I'll show you. There is this place in here, right? You click on it. You push it to the other side, right? For this place, it's left. You push it and this one is going to pop up. When it pops up, make sure it doesn't fall, right? We don't want it to be damaged. So you make sure to put your hand in here when you do the, uh, this process in order for you to catch it up, okay? So if it's not looking like this, right? It's looking like this. You just click in here, push it to the other side too, right? It's just a design difference. It's not nothing, literally. So when you take it off, you are going to wait for 10 full minutes. I suggest you to do 11 minutes, okay? I'll tell you why. For some motherboards, you only need to wait for 15 seconds. For others, you wait for 5 minutes. For others, you wait for 10 minutes. 10 minutes is the maximum, okay? So just to make sure, we're going to wait 11 minutes because we don't want it to be 9.5, 9.6, 9.7. got to make sure to have a full 10 minutes. Okay, so once you do that, you take it back, plug it in again, plug in your uh, graphic card, and that should work. That should get rid of the black screen problem. But if you see the screen, uh, make sure to click delete in order to access the BIOS settings for you to make sure that the secure boot is disabled. If it's enabled, make sure that you disable it. Uh, and before you 
uh, get out of or exit the, secu the BIOS settings, make sure to save because a lot of people actually forget to save. So if you don't save, you're going to do the same process again. Okay. So this is the very first solution. This works for the majority of people. Okay. If this doesn't work for you, just like me, when that problem happened to me, it didn't happen, didn't work for me, but like it worked for a friend of mine. So the other solution that I'm sure about is to um, do the same things that we have done, right? Unplug, plug off the graphic card, right? Take it off and then take off the battery, CMOS battery it's called, and wait for 10 minutes and then bring it back, plug it in, but don't plug in the graphic card, okay? Just don't, okay? Um, when you do that, make sure hold on go back to your pc in here and you're not gonna have a graphic card in here right since it's not existing I, I told you not to plug it in you are going to plug in the hdmi in here uh, so that the pc would run through the graphic card integrated with the motherboard okay so once you do that turn on your pc and the screen is gonna appear click delete go run to a secure boot disable it save and then turn off your pc plug in your graphic card and plug the hdmi in its rightful place that would um that would get rid of the black screen problem if i don't know that didn't happen or it didn't fix it um and you are sure you have done every step I have told you, there is the third solution, which is you do the same things that I've said. You take off the graphic card, take off this, wait for 10 minutes, um, plug it back, plug in the graphic card back, but there is a catch to it. Um, you, you plug in the HDMI in the integrated uh, graphic card that is in the motherboard, even though your PC has, uh, your motherboard has another graphic card. And then turn off, turn on your PC. Obviously, nothing is going to appear since the motherboard knows that uh, there is a graphic card that is um, for display. So it's not going to work. Nothing is going to work. But you wait for 10 minutes and then you turn it off, plug in the HDMI again and plug it in in the graphic card. That should do it. Anyways, each time there is a display, you make sure to click delete to access the BIOS settings and go and make sure to have disab like disabled for the secure boot. So this is literally how you solve it. Okay, this is how you solve it. It's not a hardware problem. It's just that the secure boot made the BIOS not load. Okay, it's just the settings things um, and you need to unplug plug off the CMOS battery in order for it to reset the BIOS settings. That's all. So if you guys are, um, if, if you guys like solved it because of this video, make sure to thank me with a subscribe and like and comment. And if you didn't, make sure to comment to tell me what happened or, you know, letting me know that it didn't get fixed, even though I'm pretty sure that these three solutions are uh, the perfect solutions for it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and um, take care. Peace.